Hello, everyone. Um, I wanted to bring to you a story that was a tragic end to a missing 12 year old little girl that was in Paris. This article comes from Fox News. It says a missing Paris girl 12 found dead in suitcase numbers placed on body with device report. Paris investigators have taken six people into custody, local report says. So um, trigger warning, right? We're gonna be talking about a young girl. And so if this is something you don't wanna hear about, I don't recommend that you listen to the rest of the details on this. Um, <clears throat> all right, the body of a missing 12 year old girl was discovered inside of a suitcase in Paris on Friday with her throat cut and numbers placed on her corpse, according to a report. The girl's parents reported her missing to police Friday evening after she never returned home from school in the French capital, according to French news outlet, BFM TV. The father, a caretaker of the building where the family lived, told police that he saw his daughter on CCTV footage of the building with a woman in her 20s, the report said. The woman was later seen carrying a suitcase out of the building. Investigators searched the basement of the building where the family lived and discovered evidence of kidnapping, according to the report. Around 11.30 p.m., a man called police to report a suitcase in Rue de Hatpool, a few streets away from the family's residence. The suitcase contained the body of the girl who was believed to have died from asphyxiation. The outlet reported that the girl had cut wounds to her throat and she was bound with tape. The numbers one and zero were reportedly found on her body. The numbers, according to reports, were placed on the corpse with a device. An autopsy was due to be performed to determine the cause of death. Police have taken at least four people into custody in connection with the case, the report said. The prosecutor office in Paris is continuing to investigate what is labeled as the murder of a minor under 15. And so it said at least four people there and um, ultimately it's six people. How many will be charged? I don't know. Um, one of the people I do know is the man that found her. Okay, and then this other article I'll read to you is um, calm killer chilling picture shows girl 12 found dead in suitcase with female suspect who bought a croissant after killing her. These are the chilling last images of 12 year old who was found dead in a suitcase as she walked into her building with a female suspect. The young girl identified only as Lola was discovered in a plastic suitcase near her building in the French capital as Paris police detailed her terrifying injuries. And it's very, very, very blurry, but this is Lola in the back here wearing a white. And then this is the woman in the front. <clears throat> and then this picture, you could see the woman better here. So that's the woman that walked in in front of her and she is behind her. And this is blurred out some, but this is Lola. She had been reported missing prior to this. Um, and these are some of the flowers being left for her. Chilling footage of the little girl wearing a white outfit and carrying her school backpack shows her walking behind a young female wearing a green hooded top and light trou trousers at 3.20 p.m. The suspect who allegedly dumped the body of a 12 year old girl in a suitcase was then seen buying a croissant as if nothing had happened, it is claimed. A local witness told how he had seen the female suspect who is now being held by police walking around with a heavy suitcase two hours after the CCTV caught her with Lola entering the young girl's building. Quote, we saw her entering the building. She, the suspect, was alone. And she came out a little bit later, or a little later. We saw her half an hour later with the suitcase. She was speaking to everyone. She looked a little crazy, the witness told BFMTV. She was struggling to carry the suitcase. We thought it was because it was heavy items and she was quite slim. 
We never thought it was a body. It was 5 p.m. and she was walking around with that suitcase. She even left it outside a cafe and went to the bakery opposite to buy a croissant as if nothing had happened. Lola had been reported missing by her parents on Friday afternoon after she failed to return from her school, College George Brayson in Paris. The schoolgirl was found hogtied with a slit throat and squeezed into the plastic suitcase at the bottom of a building at 11 p.m. on Friday, police said. On Saturday, it was revealed mysterious numbers, one and zero, were discovered on her body. According to BFMTV, the numbers were placed on her body, meaning they were not drawn or scraped on her body. A postmortem carried out on Saturday afternoon to accurately determine the cases of death revealed that Lola had died from asphyxia, according to the AFP. The young girl was found with an important wound to the throat and cellotape across her face, police said. Lola's father, who is a caretaker for the building where the 12-year-old disappeared from, had started to worry when the little girl failed to return home after leaving school at 3 p.m. on Friday. By 5 p.m., he worried, her worried mother, Delphine, went to the police station to report her missing. The caretaker was able to review CCTV footage of the building and told police he had seen his daughter walking in around 3.20 in the company of a woman in her 20s and did not recognize. The footage revealed the young girl enter her building but never made it home. The family then posted a public appeal on Mum Delphine's Facebook page asking for help to find their missing daughter, who the parents described as a smiley blonde girl with shoulder-length hair. Lola was wearing white jeans, a hooded white jumper, and gray bag, they wrote. According to a witness, the female suspect, who has only been identified as a 24-year-old, had later asked them for help carrying a suitcase, which she struggled with, to a nearby car. Around 11.30 p.m., a homeless man contacted the police after he allegedly discovered a body under fabrics in a suitcase on Rue de Hatpool, behind the building from which the young girl had disappeared. The public prosecutor's office confirmed traces of struggle had been discovered in the third basement of the girl's building on Rue Mainen, where cellar cello tape and a box cutter were found. The 12 year old's parents were informed of her death on Saturday at 2 a.m. Six people have now been arrested in relation to this case, including the woman struggling to carry a suitcase and the homeless man who alerted police, the public prosecutor office said. BFM TV has reported the man is not a suspect in the case. Following the news, mourners left flowers and messages outside of her building. A letter written by another young girl and adored with Pink hearts read, you, Lola, my friend, since nursery school, all these memories that come back to my mind when we love dressing up with princess dresses and when we love to annoy your brother, despite the time that will pass, I will never forget you, RIP. An emergency psychological support unit has been set up at Lola's school where parents told BFTMV, I think that's wrong, but um, because I think it should be the TV at the back end, but that's okay. Um, They were not going to let their kids go back to um, unless accompanied. The Paris Prosecutor Office has opened an investigation for murder of a minor under the age of 15. Here's that letter. That is the end of the article. But yeah, that gives you an idea um, of what happened. Uh, It's really, really sad and it's just not okay. She was only 12 years old and she was coming home from school. That's it. That's all. There was nothing. She wasn't getting into trouble. She wasn't, uh, there was nothing. She made it to her home. She actually made it home, like right there to the building, but didn't make it inside of her house. Right. How awful. Oh, terrible. It's so tragic. Um, Please keep her family in your thoughts, in your prayers, um, whatever it is that you do. 
just uh, think of them during this time. And um, thank you for listening, everybody. I will talk to all of you very, very soon. I hope that you have a good night. Take care.